Good morning. It is Black Friday and I'm here this morning with Heather. We are at Cade's Cove. We're going to do a little door busting on Black Friday, but we're not doing any shopping. We're doing our door busting here at Cade's Cove. It's 7.02. Sunrise today is at 7.18, I think. So uh, we are here. They'll open the gates right at official sunrise. And I guess there's about 10 people in front of us and a few more people showing up behind us probably more than 10 people the lines all the way back to the picnic area but uh anyway we're excited so hopefully we'll see some good stuff this is said to be the most photographed tree in all of the smoky mountains so we are here on hyatt lane in cades cove and i just have to show you what we found put up the 200 to 500 millimeter lens and get out the 70 to 200 because the 200 to 500 was too big. There was a buck there a long way off the road, but you could not see it hardly at all, only its horns. So I concentrated mostly on this young buck and these doe when I was shooting with my Nikon D500 and the 70 to 200 lens. The buck picture was with the 200 to 500 and the rest of these are with the 70 to 200. Heather made videos with her cell phone and I'll share those with you now. I made a couple of stills of that unusual activity from across the street or gravel road while Heather was making the cell phone video. Next, we went to a different field and way in the distance, I saw these Northern Harrier flying around and I got out my, um, my 500 millimeter F4 on a big tripod with a 1.7 teleconverter and got as many of them in focus as I could. Most of these are of males, but there's a female and here's another female. And then in the foreground on that huge field, uh, some deer came walking up and they were being chased by a buck and Heather made some videos with the Canon G7X Mark II. You can see here the green grass is the foreground and the Northern Harrier were flying way at the back of the black and brown area that I guess was from a controlled burn. They were a long, long way away. I left my D500 on the tripod with the 500 F4 and the teleconverter and I got out my Z6, which only had a 24 to 70 on it. I should have put the 70 to 200 or the 200 to 500 on it because I was unable to get a good close shot of the buck when it came by. 
Okay, and I'm shooting him with a 70 millimeter lens. <laughs> it's a good thing Heather caught it on video. Now we're at the trailhead for the Middle Prong Trail on the Little River. There's the bridge that goes across the Little River, and here's a photo of the Little River that we made while we hiked along the trail there. We are in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, and we are hiking on the Middle Prong Trail, and we're trying to find Lynn Camp Cascades. Well, we found the falls. I made a long exposure from over there. I don't know if you can see there's a park bench over there that's kind of straight across from this falls. This is not a straight down falls at all. Maybe that's why they call it a cascade. Here is the photo I made of the cascade falls and here's a few videos of various other falls. Here's a video of my favorite whitewater photo, three 30 second exposures, focus stacked, and then Heather made a cell phone video of the same area from a little higher up. Well, we found it. We didn't think we were gonna be able to find it, but we found it. it uh, Heather found this thing about a really nice trail with some waterfalls that wasn't too hard uh, on the internet before the internet went out when we got up here. And it made it seem like it was at Cates Cove, but it wasn't at Cates Cove. It was at Tremont. The Great Smoky Mountains Institute at Tremont. Yes, it was at the Great Smoky Mountains Institute at Tremont. And um, so you get to that and then there's a trailhead there but we needed the middle prong not the west prong i think was the first one so you have to drive up this unpaved road that we're on right now for a pretty good ways and then you get to the trailhead and then you hike about a half a mile and get to the falls and we went past the big falls which is not a straight down falls it's a little stair stepper uh, and you can't really get close to it but i took a picture of it and then I took a picture of a few falls later on. Got some pedestrians here. This is, we gotta go across a one lane bridge. But anyway, it was a fun adventure and even Heather got to hike. So that was awesome. Yay, Yay. us. Yay. So we're taking a little bit of a different way home. We just hopped on the Foothills Parkway. Looky. It's pretty. Mountains. Mountains. This is a 10 photo panorama that I made from the Foothills Parkway. And I ended up cropping most of it out to get what you're seeing here. So next time I shoot from this location, I'm gonna use a much bigger lens. I might even use my 500, I'm not sure. Well, it's 622 and we are pulling back into the neighborhood. We left at about 410 or 415 this morning and have been on the go adventuring in the Smokies and going to and from the Smokies. But uh, anyway, it's been a good Black Friday door busting without going to any malls or stores. So thanks for watching. Wow, you made it all the way to the end. Here's a few selfies that we made while we were in the Smokies. That was uh, at Cades Cove. This is at Cade Cove. Look, there's two of me. And here's another Cades Cove image of us, Goo Goo Ion, and this one is on the Middle Prong Trail. Uh, thanks one more time for watching. Hey, if you made it this far, leave a comment saying I made it to the end. I would be interested to know who makes it that far. Have a great day. Bye-bye.